Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 90, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. We've been running about the Mandalorian camp, turning in all the quests. We've uh, explored the jungle, defeated the beasts, earned the respect of the Mandalorians, and now we need to see if Mr. Mandalore himself will uh, honor his word and take us up to the surface. Um, I really, I, I do, I ought to go back, go to that bench real quick. Oh, no, that's the lab station, not, uh, not the workbench. All right. I need to go back to the workbench, probably in between stream, and uh, try to upgrade everybody's weaponry and see what else I can do. Let's talk to Mr. Mandalore here. In the yes, I did. Either you're very lucky. Or you're oh, for serious. Kelborn said you dispatched some covert military scouts in the jungle with him. Mm -hmm. He spoke highly of your work. Zuka told me you helped out with some repairs around the base. Mm -hmm. I was hoping you'd prove yourself more with a lightsaber. But I did. But you just said it earlier. The gate guard said you managed to kill a Zakig. Those are tough beasts, Jedi. You've earned some respect around here. Zarga told me that you returned one of our sheep to the herd. Mm -hmm. You have gained some small prestige by helping Kumas. How many yeah. Kanoks did you have to kill to find those parts for Zuka? That was a tremendous help. You, you're going to list out the litany of all the quests I finished? <laughs> you did better than I thought you could. I was planning on heading to Isis tomorrow. But I'll move up the timetable and take Ooh, you now. Thank you. You won't be able to get to the Ebon Hawk from the city. If you need to grab anything from your ship, I'd do it now. Um, oh, by the way, I set off the permacrete detonator in the jungle. I know, it made quite a racket. Good work. Uh, yep. That's to be expected. They don't really like it when someone makes loud noise in their territory. You could have warned me. It wouldn't be much of a test if all you had to do was take a hike through the jungle, now would it? You're alive, in one piece, and learn something about the beasts of the jungle. Ooh, I just got a short lightsaber now, too? Oh. Well, okay, you know what? All right. Then, uh, since I use the Handmaiden a lot more than I use Viz's, let me go ahead and instead of the... All right. With the with the double bladed sword, it's a uh, five to fifteen primary, three to thirteen secondary. If I go, even an unupgraded lightsaber in there, and a short lightsaber, relatively unupgraded there. Okay, that works. And that still keeps the two weapon fighting that we were using with her before. All right. I'd much prefer to find some more double-bladed lightsabers, though, because that requires less crystals and stuff to upgrade and keep current. But, uh, but hey, I'll take it. Hey. Are you ready to go to Isis yet? Yes, I am. Uh, have you learned anything new about the scouts, though? Kelborn told me that they were covert military and probably aligned with Colonel Tobin from Isis. Kelborn mm -hmm. doesn't think they'll send out any more scouts, but that doesn't mean there aren't more of them out there. Uh, what do you know about Colonel Tobin? Colonel Tobin is General Vaclu's right-hand man. Despite his martial skill, he handles himself as a functionary more than a warrior. Ouch. Back when we were fighting Vaclu's resistance during the Mandalorian Wars, Vaclu wouldn't have any use for a poisonous Kinrath like Tobin. <laughs> but Vaclu seems to have adapted well to peacetime. Uh, is that high praise coming from a Mandalorian? Probably not. Would have liked him better as a warrior, wouldn't he? Alright, can you tell me about you Onderon? you last here, you probably didn't even go to Onderon. Oh, no, that's why I'm asking. That Onderon's fate would be decided on its jungle moon, not the planet itself. To begin with, when you talk about Onderon, you're really talking about the ancient walled city of Isis. It's the only inhabited settlement on the planet. Um, so why do you travel? Have I earned enough respect to find out? self sufficient here. We ah, okay. Isis is the only place to go for them in this system. Okay. Not much choice, which is unfortunate, because their animosity towards Mandalorians makes it inconvenient to go there. Hmm. Okay. That's all I wanted I to know, though. I don't blame you. They're sad people. I have some things 
to look into. I'll talk to you later. No, yeah, you're actually gonna. Oh, before I do that, she's been walking around with this uh, Gand shock staff. This old two to twelve. Uh, the devil lays sword doesn't do much better, but it is upgradable. All right, let me do that for now, and I'll upgrade that when I get a chance. Although, that's 5 to 15, 3 to 13. What if I did the same thing and went, um, 2 to 12, 2 to 13, 13. That's my upgraded longsword. Yeah, let, let's, uh, do that. Do that. Yeah, let's try that. <laughs> All right, Mr. Mandalore. Are you ready to go to Isis yet? I am. Let's go. I'm going to talk with Zuka and have him start a shuttle flight check. After that, we'll head out. It can't be that simple. How are the port stabilizers? They check out Mandalore. All systems are green. Good. I want the shuttle bound for Onderon within the hour. What do you want? Is all in readiness? <laughs> it is. Oh. Like I promised. Why? You want to Wait back a out second. Now? My only concerns are for the one you escort to Onderon, Mandalorian. Would you do any less for one of your clan? Don't pretend to understand us. We Mandalorians are a breed apart. If by a part you mean scattered, broken, Ooh, and lost... That's a low yes, blow. You are correct. Not for long. Soon the Mandalorians will be strong again. United as one clan under one banner. Mine. <laughs> ah, yes. The Great Crusade. After the first one was ended by Revan and the Jedi. Such a defeat was merciful. An echo of the end. When your ships were in flames, crushed in the grip of Malachor V. But I do not need to remind you of such things. <laughs> I was and yet you do. Five, and I remember how many Jedi died to stop us there. And no matter how many dead orbit that planet, the Mandalorians still live. Clan Ordo still lives. See Kex there? He was serving on Nar Shaddai's muscle for the huts. Kelborn was a scout for the Duros on Frontier Worlds. I brought them here, gave them a purpose. This galaxy will be ours again. I promise you. That is the future. Indeed. Huh. The future is always in motion. It is a difficult thing to see. Perhaps there will be no New Age Mandalore, no great Mandalorian crusade. Uh, maybe. Perhaps your people fought their last battle at Malachor V, and you have been dying ever since. A quiet That's death a little harsh. that will last centuries. And perhaps all that remains will be what I see before me. A man wounded by a Jedi, encased in a Mandalorian oh. shell, hunted are... by the thought of being the last of the Mandalorians. You've mm. got some guts talking to me like that. You think your age or your Jedi wealth are going to keep you safe from me? No, <laughs> Mandalore, you are wrong. I hope that it is you who will keep the one I travel with safe. You are loyal, and you have served many masters, even when they abandoned you. Do you wonder where he wanders now, Mandalore? Why he gave you your orders, then abandoned you at the edge of the galaxy? Mm. How do you know that? That hurts. I know many things, and I can answer the question that burns within your shell, Mandalore. But there is a price. You must keep the one I travel with safe. He is important to me, more oh. important than anything. Does this mean we're going to end up with the Mandalore as our uh, last Mandalore. guest? If there is a Mandalorian crusade... Let it be for something that will carry your people's memory into the future. So when the time comes when there are no more Mandalorians, then at least their honor will remain. Hmm. The one I Such travel with is. has walked your same path. And I ask that when the end comes, that you remember that kinship, even if it seems there is nothing else left. Oh, curiouser and curiouser. She's been setting Forget up deals. Keep your eyes on her. Uh-huh. You and me both, good. Mm, one, two, three. Mandalorians, <laughs> we've got company. Stealth targets have breached our <laughs> perimeter. 
Alrighty then. Wait a moment. I sense there is a disturbance in the camp. Our enemy has tracked us here. I did not expect them so soon. How did they get here, I wonder? Regardless, we must eliminate them all. None of them can escape. Our whereabouts must remain a secret. Oh, oh, Destroy none of them. The battle. Our allies will need our help. All right. Let's do this. Oh, wait a second. But I've got my crew. Yeah, I'm sure that's the party I want. Come on. Just get in the battle. Start swinging. I should probably do a little bit of buffing too. And maybe a heal. Oh, actually I don't need the heal. They're doing just fine, thank you very much. Alright. Poor guy. He's so surrounded, there's not enough people to, uh... There's not enough room to get around him to swing. I was gonna try to heal, but, uh, it looks like we're okay on that front. Oh, the, these, these poor souls. They have no idea what they walked into, do they? Is that the last of them? That appears to be the last of them. For the moment. He's too busy to talk. Alright, so all these guys are too busy to talk. There we go. That's what I was looking for anyway. Some remains. That's it. An advanced med pack. These fools came in and attacked the Mandalorian Enclave, and all he had on him was an advanced med pack. Alright. Let's uh let's see about finishing. Oh, there we go. You didn't think you were the only ones with stealth generators, did you? <laughs> Over here. There are more of them. All right, let's finish this up, eh? Hey? For Mandalore. All right. Let's uh let's take care of these guys, shall we? Bam. And we'll bump up the speed, bump up the valor, and uh, and then queue up another flurry. <laughs> that knocked them all down. I love it. That'll never get old. Um, but they're all dying before I get a chance to do the really big attacks. I mean, I'm not complaining, but... Is that all of them? No, oh, no, that's all of them over here. There appears to be another wave over there. Let's do that wave. Do another bump. Do another bump. Do a little dance. Come on. Do your leap attack. Get in the battle. Ah, 
Come on. Ah, oh, here we go. These guys are lasting just a smidge longer than the others. Oh. It's over? Trouble follows you on a regular basis. Huh. I think it's best for both of us if we head to Isis immediately. Grab your gear. My men will take care of cleaning up the mess. But, 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 but I was okay with cleanup. I don't mind doing mop-up. Hey, we finally got the full crew. Our last guy is Mandalore. Oh, we're going to have to do some leveling up of him, too. He's a level 5 soldier. All right, who else do I want with me? Let's, uh, you know what? The Handmaiden has proven herself very useful. Let's go ahead and add her. I'm not sure, but I'm going to go with this. Uh, actually, you know what? The handmaiden. Let's uh let's take our other war vet. And we'll probably spend some time doing leveling next episode. I forgot. It was probably time for another cutscene. That's looking pretty modern for an ancient walled city. I'm just saying. I've seen places far less ancient that are in far worse shape. Alright. Oh. saying that the Republic ship attacked first? That's madness! Unfortunately, lie or not, it's a madness people will believe. The timing of this is atrocious. A space battle above our skies? So many of our fighters lost? Curiously, mm -hmm. only Tobin's men were involved in that battle. Yeah, that curious. Shooter. Strong word, Your Majesty. But there is no good time for news like this. I recommend we continue with our plan. But won't that bring even more followers to Vaklu's side? Increasing his power? For a time, perhaps. But we both know he's not the true threat. No? Which is unseen support from the shadows that we must drag oh. out into the light. Then, and only then, can we strike. I fear by then it will be too late. Mm-hmm. All right. What's Here next? We are. The city of Isis. It's been shut down tight for months now. General Vaklu hmm. is close to declaring martial law. We won't be able to travel too far in the city. Fortunately, I have a friend in this quarter of the city. Yeah. He's a doctor by you the name of Dagon Ghent. His office is on the other side of the market square. Alrighty then. It might be best if you do the talking around here. Mm -hmm. The Andoronians have a mixed view of Mandalorians after we conquer their world. Journal entry added. Levels to be done. Master of the Palace, you made it to the merchant quarter of... Isis. Getting to the Royal Palace and the Jedi Master you're looking for may be tricky, but Mandalore knows a doctor who can help. Alright, and while we're here, we still got the uh, Trade Routes bonus mission, since we have finally made it to Onderon. But um, with the remaining time, I want to do a little bit of leveling. So let's level up myself and uh, crank up some of those skills. And we'll, um, no, we'll, we'll try to keep awareness up a little bit higher than that. Okay, feats, a left and right. Oh, that's right, I wanted the medium armor proficiency because, well, I don't want to wear, like, full-on medium armor. Those visors that uh, provide a nice defense and whatnot can only be worn if you have the medium armor proficiency. So let's do that right there. Powers. I want all the power. Can I? I can has all power. As much as I like to bump up the the beast, I want to go ahead and do the master speed. Um, because as much as I hate the animation, I like that my defense bumps up and I get more attacks per round. So let's go ahead and add that right now. Okay, and accept. That brings me up to. 
Uh, level 21, and let's get Mandalore here. Bumped up. Oh, he's he's not as evil as I thought he was. He's not as dark as I thought he was. Actually, now that I think about it, he should be a little more neutral, shouldn't he? I mean, he, he seems like the kind of mercenary, true neutral type that uh, I would have expected. All right, uh, let's level him up then. What skills does he have? I, I know he's not going to get a whole lot of points. And oh, treat injury is not even an option. <laughs> Oops. Um, all right. Well, he's not going to be doing his own med packs anyway. That's probably going to be me doing it or one of the other uh, Jedi types doing a heal. So what skills does he actually need? I mean, at two skill points, he sure ain't pers uh, persuading anybody. Uh, it, maybe awareness? Maybe demolition. Although he's, he does have the stealth field. Stealth is an option. I'm not doing anything with stealth. I'm doing very little with stealth, and I have been doing I have been doing some stuff with stealth more than I thought, but not enough to make it uh, worth a feat and all the two skill points. Um. All right. Well, we'll just dump it in awareness and figure it out from there. Feats. All right. He's not doing the two-weapon fighting. And he's not doing the dueling because he's probably going to be heavy weapons and blasters. Uh, precise shot might be a nice idea. Yeah, because he's doubling down on the blaster rifle. Um, okay. So I'm not going to bother with the pistol proficiency. I'm not going to bother with the melee weapons proficiencies. Improved toughness is nice because that second level is going to get him damage reduction, which would be awesome. I definitely want to get him the improved close combat while we're at it, too. Um, hmm. Yeah, two weapon fighting's out because we're doing rifles. Caution, not his thing. Critical strike, that is for melee, not his thing. Empathy? <laughs> a Mandalorian? No. Uh, he is not. He does not need persuade awareness or treat injury. Uh, flurry. That is again for melee. Not his bag this go round. Gearhead. No. Uh, conditioning. Conditioning is one that I might put on the list when I run out of other things to do. Uh, power attack. Again, that's a melee thing. If he's in melee, something's gone horribly, horribly wrong. Now, improved rapid shot. That's a whole nother matter, because that is basically the blaster equivalent of flurry. Uh, so I might have to uh, I might have to think about that. The question is precise shot worth more than flurry right now. Uh, this increases the damage done with ranged weapons by one. This feat also applies minus two penalty to any attempt to deflect the blaster bolt. This bonus is automatic whenever a ranged weapon is equipped. Alright, so precise shot might be nice. Um, on the other hand, rapid shot. First level, you get an extra attack and your defense goes to minus four to minus two to no penalty. You get an extra attack with no penalty. Yeah, let's get the rapid shot tree built up first and then we'll look at precise shot. Okay. Level up. Skills. Ha ha ha. Oh, treat injury is an option again. Okay, there we go. Sure. We'll keep the treat injury maxed up because just in case. Feats. Oh, that's right, because he's a fighter type. He's going to get a bunch of feats. All right. Oh, I can't do that yet. Uh, and I can't do the Master Power Blast yet, so let's go ahead and dip into that precise shot. Okay. And level up. And, oh, here. Oh. Wow. This is the conundrum, isn't it? I'd like to bump up his uh, strength, but honestly, strength doesn't help him that much. 
if he's focusing on blaster rifles and doing damage from a distance, strength is not his primary target. Hey, Beast Lord. How's it going? Uh, just leveling up my newest crewmate. Charisma's not going to help him. It is a fun game. If you if you keep an if you keep an eye out on Steam, you can usually catch a, catch a really good sale. I know the the Fallen Order game went on sale again very recently. It was very tempting, um, but I, I don't know if that was all Star Wars games or just those two. Uh, let's see. Wisdom's not going to help him. Intelligence isn't going to help him. I think, yeah, I'll bump the Constitution up to 16 this first go-round, and then I might focus on the Dexterity, because while he's not going to get, uh, well, it's not going to help him with his armor bonus, because he's in heavy armor with a uh, max dex of zero, it should still help his ranged attacks, which would be really nice. So let's bump the Constitution now. Use his whole... <laughs> All two skill points. Poor guy. And there we go. Now we've unlocked some feet options. Let's do that improved close combat first. Because that is crucial. Spend his whole two skill points. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and knock out the last of the rapid shot. I do plan on using that a lot. Let's use his whole two skill points again. And let's go ahead and max out that power blast. But now we've got some combat options. And I think we're going to spend the rest of those uh, feats on precise shot. And then we'll see what else from there. Because I do, I do want to keep that precise shot going. But I'm pretty sure that... Uh, Alright, we're going to go Dexterity. Hold two skill points. And... Alright, we haven't outstripped precise shot yet. Skills. You ain't got any. All right, so we can't do the next precise shot yet. That's not going to be... That was 12, we're on 13, so that's not going to be for a little bit before we can, before we can get on precise shot 4. Uh, so let's look at our other options now. Again, we're not doing the two-weapon fighting. We're not doing the skill or melee stuff. Conditioning is an option. Uh, improved sniper shot might not be a bad idea either. I kind of forgot about this one because I, I tend not to use it that much. Uh, it does increase the threat range. All right, so this is one of those things that if you want to do uh, what, what's referred to in, in most RPG gaming as uh, crit fishing, where, where you spend as much money and skill and whatever as you can on increasing the critical threat range to start dropping those critical hits. Uh, that's that's not a bad idea. So 18 to 20, yeah. Oh, and he might be stunned if he makes a fort save <laughs> based off intelligence. Mm, I don't know. Might not be a very high fort save. <laughs> And the feet lowers defense by five when... Oh, 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 oh. Yikes. That's why I never used it. Because you take a minus five to defense after using it. Uh, let's see. We, we got some better options. Like, we, we can do improved tough, toughness and conditioning. And, um... Nope, not the finesse. Uh, nope. Not the, we're, yeah, the regen vitality points might not be a bad idea either. Let's do the, uh, let, let's, let's bump up his toughness first. And then if we don't have any other options, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll go with, uh, regen vitality. Or maybe we'll do that before we get too far. Skills, skills. Such as he has. 
Yeah, let's top off that Master Toughness. That's going to get him an extra Vitality point at each level. And the 10% damage resistance. Okay. Accept and level him up. That is the, the flip side to the uh, soldiers. They do get a lot of feats. So now we've got all the power blasts that we want. We got the toughness maxed out. Uh, we can't quite do the pow the next precise shot. So let's go ahead and do the 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 regen. Okay. Hmm. And that's right. We wanted to bump up his dexterity a little bit more. And then we go treat injury and awareness because what else are we gonna give him? Can we bump up that, uh... Oh, there we go. Precise shot four. Yes, please. Okay. Almost there. Skills. Such as they are. Beats. No, we can't get him the last precise shot yet. Oh, that's not to level 20, so we got a little bit. Um, we got all the way up the toughness tree. We wanted to conditioning. I think conditioning might be the next best option because realistically, we don't have a whole lot left. Uh, stealth run, not going to happen. He's not stealthy. Mobility, yeah, that's not really been a problem. Uh, we're not doing the finesse because seriously. When have Finesse and Mandalorian ever felt like they belonged in the same sentence? Uh, we're not doing the... Oh, well, ooh, dual strike... Dual strike's on the table. I, I keep considering that, but other stuff tends to pop up in its wake. We're not we're not adding any other skills, because seriously, he's got two skill points. We're not doing dueling, because he's focused on rifles. Uh... So, the question is, is do I want a plus one to all saving throws, or... Where did it go? Uh, do I want a plus two to hit when attacking an enemy that an other party member is also attacking? That, that would have actually kind of come in handy in that battle, although I don't think anybody was missing that much. And that is kind of the problem. Like, it sounds really good. You get a plus two to hit. Um, but if you're not missing, like, like plus two on a consistent hit is still a consistent hit and you wasted a feat. So uh, unless he starts showing signs of not hitting, um, I'll, I'll go ahead and go with the, uh, improved conditioning first. All right. Skills, awareness, and treat injury. Ooh. So do we want to get the dexterity up to 16, which would really help with his ability to hit and um, if we can get him in better armor, make better use of that. Although I wouldn't mind getting his uh, constitution up just a little bit more because uh, 18 would allow him to use the, uh, the highest level implants, which will also help with dexterity and a few other things too. Um... Hmm. Although he's probably really good on hit points because soldiers do get a lot of hit points and he's all the way up the toughness tree, which is an extra two hit points per level. Uh, let's... Let... Now, let's go ahead and bump up the constitution so we can get on the highest level implants that uh, we, we can get our hands on. And then we'll go back to dexterity if there's a uh, room in it. Beats. Oh, there we go. There's our top precise shot. Increases the damage done with ranged weapons by plus eight. Yeah. All right. And that gets uh, Mr. Mandalore up to uh, up to level 20. We got some equipping to do. Uh, I might do that. Uh, I might do that off camera. Um, 
plus one, plus three. Yeah. Yeah, I might do that. I might do that off off camera because we're already uh, a little over the time that I usually allot allocate. Um, and anyway, I need to find myself a workbench and start upgrading weapons because uh, that repeating blaster rifle is kind of nice, but I might have a better one at some point. And... Uh, Oh no, that's a pistol. Uh, I thought I had one that was really nice. 1 to 12. 2 to 12. Eh. Okay, okay. I, I keep looking. Like, ooh, maybe? No? No? Mm hmm. Well, I know I'm definitely going to get him an energy shield. Uh, 80 points... No, which one was it? The Was it the Achani shield? Yeah. There we go. And of course our Mandalorian is going to get a Mandalorian melee shield. I need to get some more Mandalorian power shields at some point. Um, hmm. Alright, as much as I really don't need him to get uh, the skills, that plus two to dex is really nice. He's already got weapons focus blaster rifle, so that's really not going to help him that much. So yeah, let's go with the plus two to dex. Um, getting him immunity to poison would be really good. And another plus one to... Oh! No. Oh, let's get him another regen. More regen is always nice. Demolitions, skills, damage immunity. All right, I, I hate that that breaks his attack back by one. Well, that's a lot of resistances. Wisdom's not gonna help him. That's a fair number of resistances too. You know what? Let's go with that. There we go. Uh, I should probably equip him with a melee weapon just in case, but honestly, uh, we're, we're going so far down with the, the close combat, range combat, and everything with the rifles, we might as well just go ahead and stick with it. All right. Uh, hmm. Now I'm wondering about those blinders. Because I like the extra defense bonus and the damage immunities, but uh, that plus three charisma, that's useful. Which is funny, because I, I went through all that trouble to uh, to get him the medium armor proficiency and then to go, oh, no, no, plus three charisma. Plus three defense, though. It's all about the defense. Okay, we'll go with that. All right, all right, all right, all right. I, I promise. I'm actually gonna. <laughs> I'm actually gonna be done now. <laughs> wow, well, that was fun. Unless I just died, then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun, and. If you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos. Because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any 
questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or open your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.